Hello everybody, this is Coyote Rick, and today I'm here with my 2021 Brute Force 750. Uh, I've been doing mods to it, you know, a little bit here and there. I haven't done a lot of recording here lately. Uh, I need a new trail camera, but I'm looking into doing that so I can be posting some more riding videos. Uh, today we're going to be installing a new muffler tip, exhaust tip, on this four-wheeler. Uh, I got like the sound of a stock brute force, so uh, they're all right. They sound pretty good, but I always felt like it could have to be a little bit more throaty or something a, a little bit better than what's on there. So I got a hold of a uh, uh, what they call whiskey bit metal fab works, and uh, they actually make exhaust tips. Uh, they're quite a bit bigger than the factory exhaust tips, and they they make a really good sound. So today we're going to be installing that and. Uh, I'll get down here in a minute, I'll get the camera fixed up, and I'll show you step by step. Alright, so here we go. Uh, as you can see here, you know, whiskeybentmotorsports.com. You can go on there and check out their website, and you can see all the stuff that they got available. Uh, they do more than just brute forces, of course. They a lot of CF Moto, so if anybody's watching this video and you're a CF Moto guy, uh, they got plenty of parts for that, whether it's, uh, you know, UTV, ATV, it doesn't matter. But uh, I haven't opened this up yet, and I sure hope this ain't going to be a let down. So we're going to do a little bit of unboxing right now. Get this tape. Gotcha. As you can see, they didn't waste no time putting no tape on it. I could sharpen this knife a little bit. <laughs> and let's go. All right, so let's get that in there. And paper. I don't want to be careful, I don't want to drop it on the hot concrete floor. There it is. Look here. They even provided uh, stainless bolts and nuts too, which is it's pretty cool. Oh man, okay. <clears throat> Check this out. They even sent me a little bear cozy. Little bear cozy. Oh. That's nice right there. I, I'll definitely be using this, although I'm not much of a beer drinker, but it's pretty cool. And a little sticker. Whiskey bent. It's going to be hard to see on this black four-wheeler, but we'll, we'll put it on. Put it on eventually. I got a couple more stickers I like to put on there. Put that there. That's pretty nice of y'all to send that out there, Whiskey Ben. Uh, appreciate it a little. Anytime I get something for free. I'm going to wrap this thing right here. I need to get me a camera, ma'am. Get my boy out here. Heavily wrapped. I see something else, too, that I really like about it. Look here, the sticker. Look. Made in the USA. From what I understand, they 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 cut all these, weld all these up. Get this off, man! I tell you right now, that's some good wrap. That's some strong stuff. Show you a little bit of quality on it. Flanges are nice and even. Good TIG welding. I mean, this thing's a beaut. I really like this. Look how big that tip is. Well, I sure hope this is going to make a difference, you know. Also, for 20 bucks more, you they'll, they'll ship you a a spark arrestor 
Now, it's just a little round piece of stainless mesh that goes behind this, and you bolt it on. They wanted $20 just for that little bit of round piece. I didn't feel like it was worth 20 bucks to me, so I went to Amazon, and there it is. If you want a reference point. I went to Amazon and I ordered this stainless steel mesh, which is the same exact pattern as what they had. But the difference is I got three 11 inch by 11 inch sheets of this for like 11 bucks. I mean, I can make spark rest for this thing for days as you can, as you can see here. I mean, we can get plenty of spark rest to have this had just one sheet so i mean 20 bucks for one little circle you know uh, 11 bucks for a, a crap load of circles i don't know how many but I, it'd probably be more than i'll need but you know just do what you want to do if you don't want to cut that out i've got snips so we're going to cut that out so what i'm going to do is right now is i'm going to take this into my shop over here and I'll lay it out and get it cut. And I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. Uh, I ain't going to film that part. It doesn't make no sense. I mean, everybody knows how to cut a circle out of, out of metal or anything. So, And I'll be right back. All right. So now <clears throat> we got the part cut out. I want to show you all uh, just a little bit of a difference in the size of these tips. I mean quite a bit of difference uh, like I was telling you about not buying the spark arrestor for 20 bucks you know uh, just take your time with a pair of snips good sharp drill bit you know you can make your own I, I could get a lot out of just one sheet but I ain't gonna spend 20 bucks on one little piece when I can buy a lot more for cheaper thank you Amazon so Let's go ahead and uninstall this. Uh, you will need a 10 millimeter. I don't know if you got an older bike, if they use something different or not, but I know for a 21, it's just a 10 millimeter to loosen these bolts up. I love working on these bikes. I don't have any problems with this brute force. I love it. Uh, I think they get a really bad reputation all the time, though. You know, you get a lot of people that look at, oh, a brute force, you know. But let's not forget they are the king. At one time, they was the biggest, baddest four-wheeler on the market with their V-twin. And you know what? I know they ain't changed much. Believe me, I wish they changed a whole lot more too. I, I think they're definitely bound for a new upgrade. A little bit more horsepower. But these quads are good bikes. I mean, they really are. I'm going to pull the factory exhaust out. That thing's about a mile long. You can see here. Let's get it back a little bit and give y'all a bit there's a spark arrestor on that. I know a lot of people, a lot of people just cut this off right here. You know, and just run it like that. But, I mean, look how, look how small that tip is. I mean, that thing's small. Let me get this oven back out again. You know, factory. And then look at that. I mean, what a difference. What a difference. I got a lot of hopes for this. I tell you what, let's put this back together and start it up and see what it sounds like with this. And then try to compare it to what it sounds like with this. Let's just do that. All 
Okay, sorry about that, y'all. Yeah, I should have I should have thought about that a little bit better. But let's just do a sound difference test. I, I just reinstalled the uh, fracture exhaust tip. We'll see how it sounds. Then we'll go back and we'll put the new one on. And then we'll see how that sounds. Okay, so that's what it sounds like with the uh, factory exhaust tip on it. Now, didn't get hot on me. Now let's go ahead and take this one off. I'm not sure that I need this piece or not. I don't reckon I do. I don't reckon it's going to matter. Let's go ahead and get all this hardware ready. It's awful nice that this thing came with the uh, with its own hardware. We go grab me some Allen wrenches. This is a Allen wrench set up here. This is a life and day for me running back and forth out of the shop. I'm not much of a content creator, but I do like to ride. I'm a learning though. I'm a learning. As soon as I get me a new camera, I had no cheap camera to start with because I wasn't for sure. If I wanted to spend all that money on a GoPro, and then a lot of reviews I read on GoPro had a lot of them had a lot of issues with freezing up, getting hot, battery sucked on them. I don't know, but they've got some pretty nice cameras out there today. It's supposed to be just as good, or if not better, than the GoPro. So. Let's see about it. I'm trying to think of the name of that one camera that I've been looking at for a good minute. I'll think over here in a second, maybe. I'll get this first one in here. Oh, yeah. Hardware is a go. Fitting there nicely. Oh my goodness, look how big that thing is. I'm already I'm already getting excited about this. Oh this one's gonna be a pain in the butt because it's at an angle. Get that one in there. And I don't never tighten nothing down until I get all my bolts in because well 
sometimes it just don't work out really good if you do put that in over there snuggy snug snuggy snug I wish I'd go back to my toolbox and get a ratchet with an extension to do this with, but I'm not going back in there, guys. Because that's, that's how I am. I'm, I'll be in there 400 times a day getting different shit. get happy tightening stuff sometimes but you wish everything came with a torque spec that way you know you didn't jack stuff up because some days i don't feel like i'm tightening things up enough and some days i get willy-nilly with it i want you to look at that lord i'm already excited i mean man on the moon i'm excited I can't stop doing this, but I'm going to do another comparison. Look at this. I mean, it's got to sound better, right? Look at that. I don't know. Do y'all guys like that? Does it look goofy? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Hey, let's just start it up so what it sounds like. Well, there it is guys installed uh whiskey mint metal arts go check them out uh, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you're just seeing my channel you know subscribe please i mean i don't have like a bunch of content but at least help me get it out there and let people see it you know i'm not looking to get paid just like to be informative and i like to I like to record my rides and stuff but uh yeah so what do you think, you know? Leave me a comment. What do you think about this? Does it sound good? Yeah. Here's some mods and stuff that I've done recently. Also, shot covers, eBay, they're like 35 bucks. I've had people that seen them oh man where'd you get those like guys just ebay man 35 bucks you get four you know you get four you get four all the way around i love this bike these are the pyramid hand grips i got oh yeah i like them i tell you what they're a little tricky a little tricky putting on in case anybody's wondering what this is, I say a lot of you's got them, but you know it's a quad boss backrest. I don't leave it up all the time. When I got a passenger, I put them on there. I think these stainless wheels, swamp light tires, 26 by 10 by 12 all the way around. Now them ITP rims are five plus two, y'all, in case you're wondering. Let's set out a little bit further. I like it. I like it. Hey, go check out Night ATV, man. Joe Knight and them. Oh, this is a safe box. I had someone tell me on a comment on one of the forums I get on looking for a 
a good phone case and stuff and yeah you can go buy a quad lock you can buy all that other stuff hey go knock yourself out guys let me tell you something by the time you buy everything you need including a phone case that you have to buy a phone case for your pacific phone and guess what if you upgrade phones you got to get another phone case you're going to have just as much money tied up in that system as you will just going ahead and buying one of these and i've had this thing in the mud and everything man my phone always stays secured and it's easy to view if you got a brute force you can mount it right here look down new trails hey don't worry just look down navigate you see where you're going and where you've been hey it makes life easier man and uh that's that's a that's a good investment and it comes off pretty easy i mean it's just got like a like a bolt over here on this side you can take it off take the whole box off <clears throat> but yeah yo brute force 750 like i said this is the 21 edition she looks good of course you know i sprayed some uh mother's back to black on it and that's what keeps the, my scratches hit so well but she's a good bike man she's a real good bike yeah i got the uh look at that a bison grill i like it the old 2500 pound winch I changed it out to Freedom Rope Synthetic Line. Like it. Yeah. She's a good bike. I love her. I have a lot of fun, fun with her. I take extremely good care of this bike, guys. I keep the oil changed. I always keep my diff fluids changed. I mean, I keep my eye on it constant. People write, oh, piece of junk, piece of junk. Let me tell you something. Kawasaki builds a good bike. And uh, this thing is strong. It don't weigh a ton like this one over here. This thing right here is always being worked on. Uh, that's a Can Am Outlander 1000. I think it's a 13 model. It's my boys. Uh, yeah. He got a good deal on it. She's mean. She's got some power. But, hey, I'll never catch myself having to work on this one, knock on wood. Man, look at that tail. I think it looks good. Look at that. I don't know, guys. Comment and let me know what you think. I think she looks good. Good bike. Hey, y'all. This is Cowdy Rick, man. Uh, know the video's probably butchy and butchered up and stuff, but I do my best. I do my best. Anyways, hey, thanks for watching my video, man. Please like and comment. And uh, hopefully soon we'll be having some more videos, some good riding videos. Once I make my mind up on what camera I want. We'll be doing some good trail riding. I'll see y'all next time.